subscribers and fans. Big Ice Daddy whole hog here. What's going on, bruh? First off, my mouse went out or some shit. My Razer mouse. It's the second one that's gone out on me, man. It's a piece of shit. And like it, uh, it malfunctions when I click to where it doesn't register. So I just hooked up this other mouse. It's probably even louder. And it's not as precise. This thing sucks. It came with my computer. It's like a super cheap gaming mouse. So let me know in the comments, uh, what's a good alternative to Razer products? Uh, maybe even something that's at a lower price point, but a reputable gaming mouse. Because I never looked into that shit. So let me know in the comments if you guys have any ideas. And if you use a mouse that you're pleased with. This is just one that came with uh, CyberPower PC, and I like that website, but I mean, of course, the stuff they package in, like the mouse and keyboard, I don't know, it's probably not like top of the line shit, you know, it comes with it for free generally, so. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys have a decent mouse that you work with, but I found some goodies, man. <clears throat> I gotta show you guys some of this stuff, this is crazy. I was in tier 3, I think it was. And look what dropped. A Corona. Here's a problem though. In Path of Diablo, socketed items, uh, like uniques that come with uh, a certain amount of sockets to them, or a variable amount of sockets, they're less valuable in general, I think, because now with OOCs you can corrupt any unique item that can get sockets, and it can get up to its max amount of sockets. Like for instance, Crown of Ages now, it rolls with one or two sockets is how it's always been. But if it didn't run with any sockets, for example, if it didn't come with any sockets upon identification, you could then corrupt it and potentially get three sockets. So it's at a disadvantage to other uniques, you know what I mean? Uh, like G-Face, you can get three sockets. Ariats, you can get three sockets. Jalals, you can get three sockets. Things like that. Uh, Veil of Steel and uh, Nightwing. And I might have found Nightwing. We're going to corrupt this hog. If that's what it is. I mean, hell, we'll corrupt it if it's Veil of Steel as well. But I found that. Look at all this shit that he found. Crowbill. That's the kicks in thing. I'm going to corrupt that hog. Silk of Victor. Hey, we found the Silk of Victor. <clears throat> that's right. We found the Silks of uh, Victor. And we're going to identify those. They can get four sockets as well upon corruption because it's an ancient armor. Headhunter's Glory. Yeah. Strange. I found two items that roll with sockets. But we're going to see what these things get. I think Headhunters always gets three. It's actually still somewhat valuable, I think. I looked on the trade website. But that's not always a good thing to go by, as I mentioned in my last video. Uh, just the asking prices. But And here's what's most cray. Is in Tier 4, I was soloing that shit. And then my boy Dodo, the droid. Uh, yeah, he joined up. I invited him. And uh, we ended up clearing a little bit more of it when I was all done with the boss and all that. I just invited him to it, but yeah, one of these rings fell when he was there, but the amulet and other ring fell when he wasn't. And these are from like tier four, the highest monster level area in the game. It's crazy. So let's see what these things are. And to my understanding, uh, this is what someone mentioned to me anyway, in regular Diablo and Botnet, the same uniques can't fall twice in a game, but I don't know if that's the reality. I feel like I've heard that way back. I assume that's the same for Path of Diablo. And uh, this little guy fell as well. My boy Colin grabbed it. I don't think he even knew we grabbed it. I was like, damn, you got it. He was like, huh? He was like, got what? I was like, you got Steel Shade, bruh. He was like, oh, I did. And he checked his inventory and he identified it then, corrupted it. Apparently he didn't want it after corruption or he was just hooking me up. I don't know which. Okay. We're going to identify the Silks of Victor. And they are just as they would be expected. But damn, look at that defense for a level 28 armor. Let's see if we get 40s in this shit. Yeah, I've been finding so many of these OOCs. Two sockets, bro. Two sockets in Silka Victor, that's not bad. Just kind of a cool armor. In fact, my Javazon was wearing those for a minute. Uh, I remember those from way back in the day, man, from original Diablo 2 days. That uh, was a pretty cool armor. You know, the one to all skills was like, do you have an armor that gives one to all skills, bro? It was a pretty cool attribute back in the day. When uh, barely anything had that going on. Okay, Headhunter's Glory. I think it varies some with uh, the resists and the defense. Three sockets. three 542 defense. Yeah, I got to check 
the rolls on here. Five life after each kill. Oh, an interesting new uh, attribute. 150 attack rating per rune or gem and shield. Damn, bro. So you get uh, up to 450 attack rate. That's, that's awesome. That's like uh, Metal Grid. Yeah, I was thinking this would be, be uh, maybe decent for Javazan before, you know, there was the Four Socketed Storm Shield, now that there is in uh, Path of Diablo. But still, this might have a use. I wonder what characters use this the most. It might still be Javazans. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I just always imagine, like, three uh, facets in there. Yeah, but it's kind of a collector's item, man. A collector's relic. we got String of Ears. Um... Pretty mediocre roll. It ranges from 6 to 8 life leech. And then the MDR and damage reduction range from 10 to 15, I believe. Yeah, this is pretty low, actually. And then we got Pompeii's Wrath. Look at that kick damage. 368. Yeah, I might try it out on a Sin later on. I don't know. Assuming it still exists after this shit. Let's see what happens to it. Oh, fuck, there it goes. Fuck! Fuck! Well, he's making room! He's making room! Okay. Come on, let's hope for some Nightwing's Veil. I think it ranges from, like, is it 8 to, like, 16 cold damage or some shit like that? Oh, hell no! Okay. Okay, 12%. Let's see if we got three sockets in this hog. Oh, son of a bitch! Did it do anything? I don't think it did. Did it do anything? I don't think so. Okay, that's okay. I wonder if that's worth anything. Probably like an Umrune or something. Okay, let's hope for two sockets on this crown hog of ages. Damn! Shitty roll, man. Okay, 14 DR, though that's not bad. Res, I think, is it's in the middle, right? It's uh, 20 to 30 res all. But damn, one socket? Son of a bitch. What are we going to do with that? All right, let's identify these. I was probably most excited for these. I want a Wisp Projector or some shit. Or a SOJ. And I want like a High Lords or a Maras right here. Man, old son of a bitch. You serious, bro? Okay, one of you in the YouTube channel mentioned you wanted a mantle. You broke AF and you just started playing, so you can have this little guy if you want. I don't want it. You know, it's only five mana. Stolen for hit. Dwarf. Son of a bitch. A perfect dwarf, though. 15 MDR. Hmm. That's not bad. Oh, Crescent Moon. Hmm. Son of a bitch. Yeah, those aren't, those aren't very impressive. Oh, well, though, man, the show has to go on. And check it out. I'm doing 4,300 damage now on this Bozon. Pretty pleased with that. Last night, my boy Colin and I, and we were running the tiers. We ran two tiers in, like, uh, 20 minutes total or something crazy like that. We cleared a ton of it. I was just sitting back blasting the shit out of things with my bow. And uh, he has a Blades of Ice Assassin. Uh, that just demolishes shit. Yeah, I'm gonna put on my loot filter here. So I don't miss any runes. Oh, shit, and guess what? I got a Griffin's Eye. Damn, I traded, uh, some guy in the trade website messaged me. He was like, hey, man, I got a Griffin. I was like, okay, because I put up an ad. And I was like, how about 30's G-Face for it? And he didn't, uh, he didn't buy that shit. But I was really surprised that he was responsive because he joined the game then. I was like, is he really gonna take a 30's Griffin for the Griffin? Or for a 30s G face for his Griffin. But uh, he popped in the trade window like five or six Griffins. And um, I was like, shit, does this guy know that I'm the Iceman or something? Is he trying to hook me up? But that wasn't the case. He didn't mention that at all. And in fact, he denied many of my offers. So I ended up getting a 1711 corrupted, cannot corrupt uh, Griffin. And I traded an Ist, a Mal, or an Ist, an Um, and a Pull Rune for it. So I'm going to socket that with my Java's on, and I've used it for a minute. She just obliterates cows now. So it's a pretty good time. Yeah. And damn, there's a few things to mention, bro, because I got a, uh, a donation, uh, a generous tip from one of my subscribers. So 
yeah, thank you for that, bruh. Thank you for the donation. Uh, man, it's really interesting how I can play this game and get some monies. And it's nice that you guys want to support the Iceman. So, appreciate that, man, for that tip you just gave me last night, I think it was. Come to think of it, I, remember I had your first name down, but shit, I forgot I'll have to mention it next video. Damn, look at that sacred armor! Hell yeah! <clears throat> okay. Uh, maybe we'll sell that. What else happened? Something fucked up happened. Oh, yeah! Oh, man, I was in a game. And I know you guys know... That Iceman isn't always up for handouts these days when it comes to items in game. Do I want handouts in a zip jar? Hell yeah! Do I want handouts in terms of patrons? Hell yeah! But in game items? Eh, this is different now though with Path of Diablo because it's not saturated with a bunch of shit in the market like Botnet is. So I've noticed people are like far less, you know, up to give Iceman goodies or whatever. Not that I never ask, I don't think, but uh, just. Less people offer. Which I'm fine with because I was always divided whether or not I should take shit anyway. But I made an exception because this guy he was like, hey man, I love the videos, bruh. I think his name was uh, was Gary. And he was like, hey man, he was like, I'm serving for military, so I gotta take off and I'm not gonna be able to uh, play anymore this ladder. So man, I figured I'd give you this. And I was like, he was like, I got a 30 storm shells. Holy shit, are you serious? So I took it as a gift and thank you. I, I believe that was your account name, right? It was Gary. Uh, thank you, bro, for that storm too. That's a hog. And uh, you will be remembered, sir, <clears throat> in, uh, in Path of Diablo this ladder. You know what I mean? For And uh, I, I'm going to put some resist stuff in that storm shield. Blade shield and lightning sentry? That's not bad. Oh, but that's just a hand scythe. There's rattle cage. So yeah, I've been, uh, I'm gonna start using my Amazon a little bit more now that I have the Griffins, especially the uh, Jabazon. So videos on that little whammon. In fact, I just found a Tell Rush's armor. So I was like, holy shit. So I'm gonna corrupt that hog. And we's gonna see what we's gonna get with that. But uh, yeah, man. It's kind of hoping for a 20s crown of ages right there. Son of a bitch. And a better uh, Nightwing. And those those rings and amulet were disappointing as fuck. In fact, my boy James, he's been running Mephisto like, like a hog. He's been just running shit. And he finally got a burr rune from Mephisto. Like he has this Sork, right? And he's just been running the bosses like crazy. And, uh, yeah, I was pleased to hear that, that he got that, uh, that frickin' Burr rune. I haven't seen a high rune drop in eternity. I should have never traded that fucking arm rune. Uh, because now here I am, I haven't found a high rune in like a week. I found an ist just yesterday. I found a few ums and a mal. Uh, a few from the cow level even. But other than that, man, no high rune. And I still have that burr. Kind of want to make an infinity just so I can screw around with it on my Blades of Ice Assassin and on my Javazon primarily. It's kind of what I want to do now just for fun of it. Uh, but yeah, our, our runs last night with Colin, the Blades of Ice Assassin, he's level 93. Got to be one of the most badass ones on Path of Diablo. He has Wisp Ring. Of course, he corrupted that shit and nothing happened. But he has infinity. He said people say, why the fuck use infinity? But it would have been my first thought as well. For just running the monsters and the tears because anything that's not cold immune it just obliterates them because he's using chaos frozen orbs like crazy he has phoenix shield just blasting fireballs like a hog and just infinity just destroys the resist so it just really magnifies the damage from fireball and frozen orb and of course it takes down their physical defense as well which is helpful for all the physical hits from the Blades of Ice skill and uh, your Mercs and stuff like that. So, but yeah, he's one of the hoggest assassins on Path of Diablo right now, I would imagine. I'll have to check the ladder, but he's a hog. And, um, yeah, but we were running things like crazy last just last night. Just, just going through, we went through all three tiers and we were both out of a tier four, so we didn't get to do that. But we would have just wasted shit there. But Whispering is pretty cool. It has a new aura in Path of Diablo. 
where it uh, gives you 10% more damage. But I'm not really sure how it works out because I put it on this character. It might be because this character has so many multipliers already. She has Fort. She has uh, Fanaticism from the Bow. She has Might from the Merc. So she has uh, so many freaking multipliers where that 10% is going to be vastly diminished when it comes to, you know, giving you overall damage. So I don't know if that's the case or if it's hidden damage. I don't know, man. But the Heart of Wolverine you can summon from it actually gave this character. She was going uh, 4,900 damage with the Heart of the Wolverine applied. So damn, that's like another six, 700 damage right there, bro. So the Wisp Ring is very desirable in Plath of Diablo. And uh, people trade like Jaw, Burr, Vex, shit like that, all for it. So it's very desirable. But uh, yeah, if you guys will, I'll be playing this game a little bit more today. And here we got some Blood Fist. Seeing about making a uh, Fire Droid. This is a really cheap Uber Droid, but I don't know. Just for the fun of it. Oh shit, that reminds me of these War Travs. And yeah, we're going to corrupt these hogs. Uh, for those of you who didn't see my last video, I corrupted these ones. I just found them in Tier 1. Right when I entered Tier 1, man, the first one of the first items that dropped. I was damn stoked. Because I haven't been finding much lately. These fell. I corrupted them. And I got 9 all res. And it ranges from 5 to 10 all res on boots. So these are very desirable. These are probably worth a lot. But I intend to keep them on the Zun. I use them primarily for the damage. i got to show you guys the damage the uh, War Travs add to this character. See, her on-screen damage is 4372 with the multipliers and auras. And that's 41, so it's 920 to 4149, and now it's 1054 to 4372. So they add a good amount of damage. And, of course, it's just a perk, I think. You get that MF. These ones have higher MF than my old ones. But yeah, let's corrupt my old ones here, and if they get a decent roll, I'm going to trade these hogs. Death fuck. 20 light res. Holy shit. Dude, 20 light res. That's a hog. 20 light res is a hog. In fact... Yeah. Hmm, I could just... Yeah, if I put on the 20 light res, eh, fuck it. I'll, I'll probably keep mine. But yeah, 20 light res, that's a hog. So I think it when it gets a so, single res, I think it ranges from 10 to 20. And it got the max. That is GG. Yeah, I wonder what those will trade for. I'm going to have to look into that. But uh, not a bad roll right there, bro. At least they didn't go bye-bye. In fact, only one of my rares went bye-bye. That little Pompey's Wrath. I was really hoping to get some sockets in that. But fuck it! Like this video if you guys will. Become a patron if you want. Little tippy jar below. I appreciate you guys. Peace be with you.